Hello guys, this is Maurice from Ocelaris Lawn Care. Just wanted to go ahead and and kind of show y'all this footage of the two guys that, you know, got themselves in a situation. Um, and basically, I, I felt bad for them and at first. And I don't want to, you know, to sink a lawn company in the dirt or whatever, whatnot because I'm all about promoting lawn care and our lawn care community. So uh, with that being said, we have, uh, you know, and this footage, you know, some guys, but it's one specific guy that has a story behind that. I mean, behind the situation, not the situation that is at hand, but the situation that he overcame and like i said to once before i mean basically don't never give up on your dreams and don't never give up in life period man i see a lot of people out here they go in the lawn care community and they see they knock on the doors and i know the people are, are just you know tedious they do it to me they do it to me and I know it's a lot of people out there that are struggling right now as far as that the COVID-19 and everything like that. Hopefully when it's, this airs to somebody, it actually touches somebody to a point where they can graphite and say, you know, a couple of things in the comment below. So I just want to also add in that it's a couple of people that's asking me, do I do work for free? Yeah, I do work for free, but it's for my relatives. And basically, I want to commend y'all guys for coming in and actually giving me comments and stuff like that. That gives me the light to actually do these videos. So with that being said, here's the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just need help pulling it out. <laughs> just need help pulling out the dish. Huh? <laughs> I mean, it's why, why did you go that close anyways? It's a bank down. As you bank down. All right. This is what I want y'all to do for my channel. To go ahead, like, subscribe. Write a comment or two below in this description. Down there where they, they write the comment description below. Let me know what your take is. You don't, you don't use a moral like that. You probably got to use like a 22 or something. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Let me just show you guys what I'm saying. Yeah, I was on the top and it slid down. Last time I did it, I did it all the way across. What the hell? Uh, I did it a week ago and didn't have no problem. That time it took off. What the? Did you? And hopefully nothing broke on the motor. No, really? Broke. I shut everything down as soon as it started sliding. Man, what's that pipe there, man? Huh? What's that pipe, man? You busted a pipe? No. That's, I was trying to use it for leverage. All right. You can just back up right there and we pull it out straight out. Oh, you, you're talking about me pulling it out. Oh, okay, all right, well, let me see what I can do with it. I mean, it... Oh. Yep, I slid down the embankment. See, I was right there. I was on top. Yeah? I was, was on top. took off. I ain't doing that one. Nah, man, uh, usually you take the weed whacker and you go, you go a little bit ways like this. This is, this is about as far as that mom more can do it. And, and trust me, this right here, where I'm standing at, this is where that lawn was supposed to stand at. <laughs> I was up here. I was right and there. The clearance see? is good for grips and uh, see, I was up here. hills, but when it comes to that steep corner, no. Nope. I was right here, and it, I found that out from and there on, it slid out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. It, can do, it can do a trick, man, too. Huh? We just talked about you. <laughs> all right all right man hey yeah i was gonna say to bring your truck right here we'll just 
ease it up back up the embankment. All right, man. I, I see what I can do with this, man. It's going to be a tight, tight little fit. To bring my truck right here. Spring between these two trees and just pull it back up the embankment and then I'm staying away from that ditch. <laughs> I can't believe it. I felt it go. I was like, oh, shit. I hey, see. what about your truck, man? What, I got a trail. I got two trailers hooked. I got a big trailer hooked up to it. Hey, I, I, I can like use that it. thing. Huh? I don't like it. You can use it. I don't like it. This ain't my project. I ain't got no money in this. Shoot, I hey, 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 I... I'm just gonna tell you, I ain't got no money in this, man. So I'm not gonna rake up my. Hey, no, but I give you the equipment, but uh, choice is yours. <laughs> All right, you wanna do it? Let I me go search for my chain. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes I with the rope. <laughs> we'll pull them out and. Uh, such a thing has come first. <laughs> I was wondering when y'all gonna get it. Y'all got it out, just rope. Rope, that's it. Yeah, open my truck. So you got a piece of log there, that probably helped a little bit. That log was just sitting right next to it. Yeah, man. Well, all right, man. Well, y'all guys got it. Y'all guys got it. I mean, man, hey. I don't give it. up. <laughs> you don't. Don't ever. Ain't no never give up in this boy. This boy's had two aneurysms. And? 13 days in a coma. Oh, man. Are you serious? I died twice. Oh. Flatlined through. Flatlined it. All right, man. Well, be careful out here. This sign will put you right back twice. in the... Twice. Twice? Yeah. Second time I woke up on my way to the morgue. Whoa. I asked the nurse for a cheeseburger and a Coke. She left. Oh. Yep. That nurse said, gotta go. Later. <laughs> Pushed him on the gurney. Gotta go. Shoot, Pushed are you him serious? on the gurney, sheet over him, mm -hmm. pronounced him dead. Mm -hmm. Fucking lifted right up. He wanted a cheeseburger and a Coke. That lady with that. Bill. Bill. <laughs> I know that's right. All right, man. Well, I'll see y'all guys later. I'll hey, I just wanted to go ahead and add a little bit in because basically at this point in time, this guy is handing all the information mention and stuff like that but this is going in a little bit deeper and diving deeper into lying here you don't always get what you want but you're there at that time at that particular time and you know that you've been summoned by somebody and you're like hey you know what maybe that guy had that rope but maybe it was it was a lesson that you needed to learn that pulled you in. And I just wanted to see what was y'all take on this, man. Are y'all busy? I got to be on my way. <laughs> ten more to do. You got 10 more of them. All these. All three of these come Oh. And that's it for today, or yes, y'all? Y'all, that's it. What's going on, man? That was him right there. Whoa. Okay. 17 days in the coma. Yeah. Pulled the plug. Came to life. <laughs> Whoa. Put it this way. When the paramedics got there, they said I should have already been dead. Everything inside me was boiling. Dang. Everything. Like someone sat me on a stove and left me there with the stove on high. Wow. They Man, hey, that's that's a miracle. They the human body, though. They took my mouth and that bitch like, Oof. Dang. All right. Good luck with everything.